Hello, friend. Welcome back to my channel. What was that, friend? <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth. This is EJ Joyful Plans, and this is one of many, many videos I am filming, filming pertaining to the back to school release from the Happy Planner for 2023. My playlist is down below. So if you want to see my unboxing, you want to see flip throughs of planners, sticker books, accessory items, new Disney, all the things, they're all in that playlist, nice and organized for you. And hopefully it helps you make an informed shopping decision. If it does, I hope you'll consider using my affiliate link. Doesn't cost you anything, but it does route you through the website so that the happy planner knows I'm doing a good job showing you stuff. And I would get a small commission off of your purchase, which helps support my channel. So thank you so much for doing that. Today in this video, we are talking all about the study habits planner. This one I'm so excited about. When I unboxed this, I was so happy because I didn't get the study habits layout from last year. It was the first time they had it. And uh, I I've seen a flip through of it last year, but I haven't seen one recently and I just like want to get into it and I haven't flipped through it yet. So this is my first impressions. So let's get into it. Classic study habits layout. This has plastic discs without the heart. So if you're not a big heart person or you are gifting this to a student and you don't know if they would like the heart, this is a great, you know, entry level to the happy planner. Uh, experience with those discs. This is, yeah, going to be really fun to flip through. Let's get into it. You've got the regular packaging or the new packaging that has the size. So it's a classic, the layout, study habits. The um, theme is Mellow Feels, and then it's a 12 month planner, starts in July and runs through June. Then we have the study habits layout description. And then lastly, how you can personalize your planner. So this is really helpful if you're in store. So you're not like rifling through trying to like, you know, go through the planner. You can just look at the little tabs. So ooh, I already like this aesthetic. I think it's really cool. It's got some silver foil. I like the checker checker box with the little polka dots and I love the colors of the polka dots these are like my favorite colors so I'm so excited oh this is so fun okay so let's open it you can see I clearly have not flipped through this because the packaging is still on it so we're going to experience this together super cute with the flower the funky little retro flower here with a smiley face and look how friendly. Well, hello there. This Happy Planner Study Habits Edition belongs to, and then you would just put your name down. I think this is going to be an excellent planner for a student. I can already see it, and uh, I think I'm going to like it for myself. I just got to figure out how I'm going to use it. So we open it up to see two years at a glance, January through December for 2023. We have um, lined uh, lined margins so you can write down anything you want you could write down goals you could write down important deadlines or holidays anything like that if you just want to see it in like a two year spread in one glance that's what this is for you've got 2024 over here as well and then you have your I want to call this a perpetual calendar but it doesn't go indefinitely but it is your year at a glance and I love this layout because you can put a lot of things in here. You can use it for a habit tracker. You can use it for homework assignments, project deadlines, birthdays, anniversaries, whatever you need it for. The gray boxes highlight weekends so you can very easily at a glance see where the weekends are in each month. And that is going to take you through the length of this planner. So while you have 2023 and 2024, the full years at a glance here, this is a July to June planner. And so these, these pages are going to go from July to June. Very clean, very neutral, just some polka dots down the spine. And then here we can see very neutral um, uh, priorities or, uh, excuse me, currently page. So you have your priorities one through three, your graph grid important section, and then your take note section and holiday down at the bottom. Love this so much. This is July's divider. And then you can see the monthly layout is very, very neutral. Very neutral. Love to see that. This is where like the bread and butter comes in and it gets very exciting. So in a typical happy planner, you go directly from your monthly layout to your first week. 
Instead, in the study habits layout, you go from your monthly to like organization pages and to-do lists for homework, projects, assignments, etc. So up here, you have a box called plan. List which projects take priority this month. So if you've got papers due or a diorama or whatever it is, any product, if you're not a student and you are a professional, perhaps you want to maybe change out the cover, put it on a Work Plus Life cover. How about that? Put this on a Work Plus Life cover and it's very like hardbound, professional, but you've got your projects you can list here. Organize, maximize your efficiency, prioritize and schedule your time. So you've got your dates and then different things that you need to get done. Initiate, write down ways that can help you start strong. So you've got four boxes for those. A note to self, check in to see if what you are doing is working. So you could put a little date and check in when you're with yourself. You can do that three times over the course of the month and then track and evaluate what worked to help you to succeed, what needs improvement for next month. This is definitely a study habit layout. This I believe was created by someone who is an expert in educational tools and that's what this was created for. Um, but I know not everybody is a student and so I love that this can be used in a variety of different areas of your life, whether or not you're a student. So plan, organize, initiate, note to self, track and evaluate. So you've got that kind of dashboard for the month. And then over here, love this page. It is a long to-do list. You can prioritize one through three each item. And then here you've got a key. Priority level one means it's immediate. Two means it's soon and three means it can wait. And then you have your due date right here. This is a nice, nice long list to cover you for a month. And then check out the weekly layout. It is an hourly from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. You've got your top three priorities here. You've got your goal section and dot grid. And then you have a weekly tracker if you want to track something. So very cool. I love that you've got additional space down here for any notes, encouragement. You could decorate it if you just want to do stickers. If you are wanting the hourly layout, but you also want to track maybe your fitness stats from your Apple Watch or your, your Fitbit, you know, you can put that down here, put like fitness information down here, and then kind of the rest of your day organized up here. Very fun, functional layout. I absolutely love it, whether you are a student or not. Could be great for teachers as well. So let's just keep flipping. We've got our dots, polka dots down the spine, but otherwise very, very neutral. So if you have been looking for a hourly layout, this would be that for you. Here is your August currently, and then your divider mistakes are proof that you are trying. I love the vibe of this. I just think it's really cool looking. Let me see if there's anything else that's different. Nope, this is gonna repeat. You've got your intro pages at the beginning of the month to get organized, and then you have your hourly. Let's jump to the dividers. Magic happens when you are positively you. Let your dreams blossom. Kindness matters. You got your smiley daisies for December. January is like a navy and silver, or almost pewter. February, listen to your heart above all other voices. It is okay to dream even bigger dreams. Start each day with a positive thought. Just be you. You are enough. You are enough. You are enough. Then here is your final notes page. Start each day with a positive thought. Plan a happy life on that back cover. And then you've got your repeated checkerboard on the back. Love, 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 love. Absolutely love it. That, my friends, is the study habits layout. I'm just going to open this up so that y'all don't get stuck with a ring light. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Have you used this layout before? Did you pick it up last year? Did you use it? How did you use it? Let's talk about it because I really like this. I really like this. I want to use it. I just got to figure out what in what context I want to use it because I'm not a student, but I just feel like these pages uh, have so much potential, so much potential, especially if you work from home or you work mostly, you know, independently. I think that could be really 
really awesome. Um, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, uh, back to school playlist is down below. So if you want to see more from me, more from the happy planners back to school, then definitely check out that playlist. Release information is down below. Affiliate links down below. Come hang out with me on Instagram. My handle is ejjoyful underscore plans. It is always a good time. And if you want to hang out with me again, please consider subscribing to my channel. Until next time, friend, God bless you. God bless you and keep you. Do something creative today and I will see you in my next video. Bye.